Welcome to RG TV. We are with us today, Leila Abu Leila. Is that correct? That's correct, yes. Hello, Martin. Yeah. Thank you so much for honoring our invitation to speak with us uh, regarding um, Black Lives Matter. Um, first of all, we'd like to know you better, we'd like to know you more. So tell us a brief about yourself. Okay, my name is uh, Leila Abu Leila. I'm a writer. I originally come from Sudan, I grew up in Sudan. And then I moved uh, when I was in my mid twenties to Aberdeen. And I've been living in Aberdeen now since uh, 1990 uh, with my husband and my children. So I've, I've made Aberdeen my home and I write uh, novels um, that reflect the life of uh, Sudanese um, immigrants in the UK and other African immigrants and the issues that they feel uh, and uh, the problems that uh, Muslims encounter, um, you know, getting used to life in, uh, in the UK. Wow, that's very interesting. You've been living up the long, it will be flowers born. <laughs> that's very interesting. Yeah. Uh, so uh, looking at the current uh, um, situation going on against, uh, against um, black people, especially, especially in the US, We've had uh, police uh, brutality. We've had uh, several activities against um, black people. What would you say is the situation in Scotland? Well, I think that um, the the just to to talk first about the situation in the U.S. and uh, in in other parts of of, of Europe, that the, especially in the U.S., this pr police brutality against black people is not new. It's been going on for for a long, long, long time. It's got a history, you know, that's embedded in in, in, in slavery, and uh, the struggle has been going on for a long time. There's been protests for also a long time. The difference now is that uh, white people have started to take a notice and the, 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 the media has started to take notice. And the reason for this, I think, is it's tied to the pandemic. Uh, you know, you, the, Europe and the United States has just been going through a very difficult time. Uh, thousands of people have uh, died. Um, and so people have, uh, this has humbled actually the, the the, the white po uh, population. It has made them feel that they have more empathy now towards people who are suffering. And uh, so this kind of softening of, of people's hearts has made them uh, react to these uh, protests, has made them see these protests and has made them stand in, in solidarity with the, uh, the Black Lives um, uh, Matters movement. And the words of, uh, you know, John, um, George uh, Floyd, you know, he was when he was dying, he said, I can't breathe. This kind of echoes the, the, the symptom of the coronavirus. And, and so yeah. these words mean something to people they, they, because they're words that they've been holding in their uh, part of their anxiety, either towards themselves or towards their elderly relations. So they are reacting uh, that, that, that way uh, towards, um, uh, you know, the, 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 the protests. And, uh, and that's why this is such an important moment in history, because we need to, uh, you know, we, we hopefully with this can, this can be seized and change can come uh, about from it. Uh, and that we don't lose the, 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 the empathy and we don't lose the, 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 the momentum that we've uh, built so far. Interesting. That's that that's very interesting. So talking about the, the momentum, what, what do you think uh, we should be doing to, to make sure that we don't lose this momentum? Because several protests like this have, have happened before and um, we've gone over it and still the same issue we are talking about keeps happening. What, what do you feel we should do different this time around so that the momentum will be on point? Well, you can see that in the UK, and the, 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 the protests, especially last week in Bristol, uh, the, the protesters naturally, um, without any kind of plan, the, the protests built up and built up and then culminated in the toppling down of the statue of Colston, who was known as a, a famous a slave uh, trader. And then they, and the protesters dragged his, um, this, this statue, this huge statue was toppled. It was dragged through the, through the streets 
in quite unprecedented scenes, you know, on British uh, tele television, on British soil for this to happen. And he was dumped in, in the river. And uh, so, so in a way, the, 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 the protesters naturally gravitated towards a symbol of the, of the British Empire, a symbol of uh, Britain's, um, you know, collusion with the Atlantic, uh, the North Atlantic slave uh, trade. And, um, and people have, uh, this is, didn't come out of the blue. For years, people have uh, been petitioning to get this statue down, to take this statue down. The people in Bristol have said, you know, this man does not represent Bristol. This man should not be put on a pedestal. He, uh, he does not deserve the respect and uh, that, that, that he's, he has a statue, statue of himself. There are roads named after him. Uh, there, there is no need for this. It's an insult to the, the, um, the descendants of, of the, 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 the Africans that he uh, enslaved, that he made a profit of. And, and the, the, the rebuttal has been that he, was, uh, he spent money on the, city, on the city, but actually this money came from this, uh, the, 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 the slave uh, trade. So um, his statue does not belong in, in the center of the town. It belongs in a, in a museum, a museum that would uh, reflect the history of the empire, that would teach people about the British empire. And I think this is what is needed now, that there should be uh, a, a movement to to educate um, you know the British people about the 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 the, the British Empire about the history of the of the British Empire about the connection between Britain and the, the slave trade which people don't know about the average person doesn't know about and the, the reason they don't know about it is because it's not taught in the schools you know and people go through school they get a good education but this part is missing they, in, in my country, Sudan, for example, uh, there, there were um, uh, Scottish engineers who went at the time of the empire and they built uh, roads and they, um, you know, uh, they built universities, they started schools for the missionaries, started school for women. These are all good things. They're not, not everything that was done was bad, but it's only, but, but, but uh, the average person um, in, in, in Britain now only hears the good side. They don't hear the bad side. They don't hear about the exploitation. They don't hear about the, the divide and rule policies. They don't, you know, they, there's a lot that they don't uh, hear about. And so uh, there needs to be a reevaluation of the education um, uh, curriculum that, that takes place in the UK. Yeah. That seems to me, it seems to me, um, you're hiding the negative aspect of Ongia history. Anyway, um, well, let's say in a, in a year from now or in some eight months from now, what are the things we should be looking out for to know that um, this protest that has been going on all over the world is being effective or is well, causing a change? I think in the U.S. they really need to look on the, on the issue of the, of the police brutality and the issue of the shoot the shoot to kill policy that 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 that, that they have um, here in the in, in in the UK we don't have the, the shooting but we do have an, an over you know black young black men are stopped and, and searched much more than 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 you know other other men and uh, these all these things this kind of discrimination needs to be to to to, to be looked upon and and already there are as it was the case of the of the statue falling down these petitions and these these processes are are going through the direct channels the correct channels the legal channels so many people are working hard so many people have have done um, you know um, uh, have worked you know through these uh, things these recommendations they've had meetings they've had reviews but but these things are not implemented so what we need is to implement the, the, the recommendations that all the, you know, the, 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 the race equality reviews have done have in the recent past um, and, 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 and to see them being implemented and to see them being pushed through the, the correct uh, channels and not just ignored and just not, not put, uh, put aside. Oh, that's very insightful. That's very insightful. Um, I also want to find out in as much as all these things has happened, what should be 
the equitable way forward. That's that will benefit we the um, the black minority or any other minority group at all. For example, I realized that um, there was a quota system was made for for women in in uh, in, in board to give women some um, some um, quota to fill. Do you feel that if they should apply the same way to to the minority people or to black community? Do you think it's it's, it's um do you think it's a good it's a it's a good initiative to 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 solve this issue to make us feel we we are welcome to make us feel that we we have been given an advantage? Um, I think that that it's it's more to do with support. It's more to do with with supporting. Uh, you know, if if you, for example. Um, uh, take a take a specific issue as, for example, um, encouraging more and more black people to write to write novels. Let's say, so we need from the beginning, from 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 uh, starting from school, we need teachers to encourage black uh, students to to read because writing starts with reading. So um, teachers should be encouraging uh, students uh, to, to read. They shouldn't be making generalizations and saying things like, oh, you know, you are African or you're black, though you must be good in sports. What do you want to be one day? You want to be a football player? Well, maybe, but maybe not. Maybe he doesn't want to be a football player. Maybe he wants to be a, a writer. Maybe he wants to be a surgeon. So we, from the beginning, we need to, uh, from, you know, make, um, uh, Look at the, the the structures that prevent uh, black people from 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 uh, uh, advancing uh, forward. Um, so many things that um, so many advantages that that the white middle class people have. Uh, people from from black uh, backgrounds or immigrants they don't know they they don't know the the, the situation. If your par if a child's parents don't speak English then they don't have access to so many things. This child is, doesn't have the support at home that, 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 the, other, that the other white child has because, because his parents don't know the, the, the language. So there's so many ways of, of, of that, that, can, that, that, that can be helpful. You know, before, um, uh, you know, maybe imposing quotas is, is one way of doing it, but it's a, it's a kind of a, uh, it's coming from above. Whereas I think maybe if we try and, and help the situation from below and, and, and sort of a, a more wider way of, 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 of supporting inclusion, that might be a, a better and a more healthy way of, of, of going about it. Uh, because sometimes uh, it, it, it's not, you know, sometimes young people are not applying to certain positions because they don't see examples of themselves. They don't see role models. Uh, in, in, in front of them. So it's not a matter of, of quotas, it's just as much as a matter of uh, encouraging them to apply, supporting them, helping them in the, apply, in the application uh, process and mentoring them and, 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 and so on, yeah. Wow, wow. So oh, you, you, have, you have won several awards attached to, to your name, which is very, very impressive. Uh, you've won uh, the, the Keynes Prize, the Keynes Prize African writing, the yes. uh, fiction winner of Scottish Book Award, the uh, Sorte Fiction Book of the Year, several, several, a lot of them. This is this you are, you serve an, as an inspiration to some of us because we look we, when we look up there we look for people that that are like us that have made it that are very successful in their respective field and you're one of the people we look up to. You're one of the people there. And I, I want to ask that: um, How did you get the? How, how did you get living, especially with uh, the few times you've, you've lived in Scotland and other places? How how did you get to that point? Well, I I got it with the, by you know of course working hard and and um, not not uh, not allowing negative negativity to affect me. You know, I I was sometimes. When I started my career, career uh, I had friends, even friends who were good, close friends, would say to me, 
oh, you know, these publishers, they are prejudiced. They are not going to publish you. They're not going to push you. Uh, they don't want, uh, you know, someone who writes like you. They want somebody to write negative things about, you know, Islam or about Africa or... Uh, so, but I didn't allow them to to influence me. You know, I didn't I didn't allow this defeatist the defeatist attitude to to influence me. I was always very hopeful. I was very, you know, I had faith that you know things would go okay. Things would, you know, I would get lucky. And so this this optimism, I think, is it's it's important to 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 keep us uh, to keep us going. Yeah. So. Wow. Oh, that's that's very inspiring, and I'm sure a lot of a lot of people watching this video will find so many things to take note and so many words of encouragement to them. And I, I also want to find out: that, Has there been any points where um, a black person has approached you to complain about any racism activities that has been done against him or her, especially in uh, in Scotland or in Aberdeen society? Well, of course, these things are 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 common. They are what they, <clears throat> they are widespread. They 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 are happening um, many times. You know, the answer is, of course, a lot a lot of a lot of uh, times. Uh, but a lot of times, there's been positive things as well. I mean, for every uh, for every time there's been a racial, you know. Uh, uh, attack or grievance or whatever there is also another more than one or maybe two three five white people who have been kind and, and considerate and, and helpful so there's the two things that are going uh, side by side together it's not it's not only one uh, one 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 picture this is what i was referring to this the idea of the british empire for example yeah. and seeing seeing it as being a mix of of of, of, of different things i mean um when we talk about Scotland's involvement in 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 the in the North North Atlantic slave trade, when we talk about Scotland's involvement in the British Empire, um, and people are are surprised by this, but there is evidence, historical evidence. You see Scottish names in these plantations, in the names of the of the of the of the overseers who are working in in these plantations. There are photographs and paintings of. Uh, the, the Scottish slave owners uh, making their slaves wear tartan, for example, tartan, the tartan patterns. Um, so all this is uh, evidence. But then if you look deeper, you realize well, why are there so many Scottish people in the empire? It's because these young Scottish men, they were discriminated at here at home, they, you know, in, by 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 the English, they didn't have the, the potential to, to, they had talent, they had ambition. And, and uh, they couldn't, uh, you know, um, be successful in, in their own country. So they went abroad. They, they, were, they had to find an outlet for their ambition and to find an outlet for their skills. So they went abroad to the, to the empire. So this is looking at the, 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 the picture, you know, from two, two sides. And this is what, the, you know, a kind of educational process uh, can help us with, to see the, the two sides of, of, of the... Um, of, of history, you know, and to see the dynamics that went on and then to be able to, to reach a point where we say, well, yes, this is what happened in, 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 in the past and this is how the past is affecting the, 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 the present. And, you know, a lot of writers have done this, a lot of novelists have done this. Um, I don't know if you've seen uh, the work of the filmmaker uh, Ama Asante. She's written, uh, she's made beautiful films. One is called Belle, and that looks at the, you know, the Britain's uh, involvement in the slave trade. There's one called A United uh, Kingdom about uh, Botswana. So she's made the films that, 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 that look at the history of, of Britain. And these, you know, the, this is very um, uh, useful, these kind of uh, films. There's uh, Andrea Levi has written, you know, novels like The Long Silence, uh, The Long Song and um, Small Island. And they've also been uh, uh, filmed and made into plays. And so, you know, literature and culture and the arts can also help uh, people learn about uh, the past and, and try and bring, uh, bring us, you know, to, to, to closer because the, the future is 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 different the future for, for you know to, to, to be a young uh, for young white uh, P, uh, British and Scottish people growing up in the world they need to be comfortable 
with with a world in which you know uh, they're going to meet uh, uh, you know uh, black people who are successful. They're going to meet black surgeons. They're going to have a boss one day. They will have a boss who is black, and they need to be comfortable with that. Otherwise, they're going to suffer in in the world. So, uh, living in the past, living in the nostalgia of the past, is not helpful to young people. And you know we need to to, to help them both. You know both both white and and, and black to to deal with the the, the future. Yeah, that, that that brings me to um I've I've heard some of my some of my friends, some of my white friends supporting um this uh movement, this um, Black Life Matters or any movement that is against um racism, they've been supportive with it. And I've also had another group of friends that are that are saying, Well, I've not experienced any racial discrimination, I've not been involved, and I've some to are saying, Hey, I'm not black. Why should I involve myself in this situation? Me and my family, we are okay. What would you have to say to those kind of people? I say I understand their feeling because sometimes as, 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 uh, as black people, we need to also look after ourselves. We, we need to look after our own mental health, our own, uh, uh, you know, our own well-being. And sometimes uh, ignoring these things is what we need to survive because survival is important. We need to survive. We can't, you can't fight all the time and burn out. Some people cannot, cannot do this. So I respect their, 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 their position, but I think they also need to be educated, you know, and, and I think that the reason they are not seeing these things and, and, and you know, not, not acknowledging sometimes these things is, is a fear. They're, they're afraid to, 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 to uh, uh, they don't want to be a troublemaker. They understand that, that the society, white society expects them to be grateful and wants them to be grateful and doesn't want to hear them complaining. And, and, and this, is, this is true, but, they, but you know, it's, again, it goes back to this awareness and it goes back to this um, uh, sense of, of, of understanding. Uh, I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a, um, there's a wonderful book by Rennie uh, Edo Lodge called Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race, where she explains her, her feeling and her frustration with having to explain and, ha and, and how it's, it becomes difficult, you know, having these conversations over time. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's, that's very insightful. That's very insightful. And also, uh, do um when this protest started people started um, saying that um why do you have to protest now when um, there's a pandemic when there's um, a contagious virus that the world is fighting against why do you have to can't you wait after this is this um pandemic is over before you start protesting do you do you feel that um, this protest started at the wrong time in as much as we saw the death of um, George Floyd that sparked the protest. Well, it wasn't planned, was it? It's 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 a, re re a response to the to to, to, the, to the death, and and, yeah. and and maybe why wasn't the death postponed till after the pandemic? You know, <laughs> perhaps the police should be, should spend better time, you know, helping to get people into hospital or, or distributing protective equipment rather than you know harassing uh, black uh, men so uh, it, i think this was a spontaneous uh, movement i think people erupted i don't think that they they uh, they thought about it uh, that uh, that 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 much i think to to, to be honest and another school of thought are also saying that um, sometimes some of um, some of these issues that uh, that uh, that black black men face is as is as a contribution of their activities of what they do some of them have been involved with some um, criminal activity that is why such such um attention is coming on them that is why um they are they are facing this kind of um, issue would you which is not of course i wouldn't say it's justifiable but would you would you say that um some of these things that happen is as a result of um, what some of these people have been involved into? 
Well, of course, this is natural. I mean, for every every uh, demographic, every uh, you know society, every kind of people, there, 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 within them there are criminals, and within them there are you know normal people. And of course, the, if, if a, a criminal deserves to be you know tried and 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 judged and uh, you know sentenced to 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 whatever crime they have done, nobody is 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 actually uh, objecting to that. Nobody is. Uh, is um, you know is, is 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 complaining about this? It is it is it is when uh, and that's that is the problem. I mean that these men were killed before they even were charged, before they were even uh, you know got to a court, before they even were, were you know were were sentenced to to, to whatever they, they they deserved according to the evidence. Yeah. So this is why people are exploding in, in, in anger that they were denied a, a fair a fair trial they, because they, they don't even reach the, the, the courts. And historically, of course, this has been a, a tactic that was always used because, because you know, the court could make them, could be, declare they're innocent and they should be let, let, uh, let loose. So um, nobody is uh, is uh, you know objecting to to a fair uh, fair trial and a fair uh, rule of the law. Yeah. So, so many of us are looking up to you, Leila. So many of us are looking up to you. So many of us are so many of us are using us as, as as a blueprint to get to to the top, to get to where we want to go. Because we are happy to see someone like you doing well in your respective field. Also. Um, I want to I want to find out from you what what's the words of encouragement or words of advice would you give to some of us that we feel that we've been looked down upon that we feel that the odds are against us. Yeah, I think you should uh, read. You should educate yourself. You know, uh, uh, there's so many good books out there about the history, about the the you know the the the, the you get a better understanding of your own culture uh, and 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 the, the you know the, Afri the 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 culture of africa and the culture of of uh, of other parts of of, of the world so it, it needs an extra effort because the mainstream is always the 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 default is always the white you know uh, christian culture and if you want something different you have to go and search for it you know, so I think that that young people need to, and now because of the internet, they they are they have the the, the tools to do that. You know that they they can, uh, you know, go and they can uh, acquire this uh, the, this knowledge. And and and, no, and knowledge is is strength at the end of the day. So acquiring this uh, this understanding, and and also supporting each other and 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 you know helping each other. This is also very very important because. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, these stressful situations, uh, they cause people to, to break apart. They cause uh, breakages between, between people. Whereas actually we need, uh, we need a nurturing um, in, environment in order to, um, you know, to support each other. And I think that, that uh, one of the things that young people should do is that they should reach out to, to, to older people and say to them, and this, is, this goes back to our African heritage and our you know, Muslim heritage, that we ask advice of older people, that we ask, you know, older people to support us or to mentor us, or uh, I think we need to, to do that more. And I think young people uh, should be uh, more, um, you know, outgoing in that way, and they shouldn't be uh, shy of asking advice from, from, from older people. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, Lena. I, I really appreciate your words. Uh, but before I, I get Greg involved, I just want to ask this last one. Um, do you, do you feel some um, some of the words that comes out from people that are leading us, some of some of the things some of um, this um, global leaders are saying? Do you think it has a role to play to play against um, um, racism? Do you think it, it has any factor that people actually become more racist when they hear certain words from some some leaders? Yes, I think this is a, this is a problem because the leaders are setting the example, and they're also if they give the impression that that uh, certain uh, uh, you know certain behavior is tolerated or it's not a big deal or that uh, oh you know these people are are uh, feeling victimized and this this kind of language of course it doesn't help because it gives 
it gives a, it gives a sense of complacency and it gives a kind of a green light for uh, uh, for the, the the you know the the anti the anti black uh, m movement. So it's um, it is of course important that that leaders set a good uh, a good example uh, for for everyone to follow. Yes, and we're lucky in Scotland that we do have that. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So basically, this to fight not just for black, it's for humanity, for a better life for everyone, it's for That's equity, right. for equality. Uh, Blaida, do you have just any any words you want to say? Any advice you want to give to to everyone in general? Well, uh, thank you for having me on, 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 on the program and, uh, you know, uh, uh, have faith that things will get better and hopefully, you know, we will get through these uh, difficult times and there will be uh, better uh, times ahead, inshallah. Yeah.